Welcome to round 41 of my quest to play 50 different courses in my 50th year. We are at Dublin Ranch Golf Course and uh, this December 21st, I believe it was, and I only have three weeks left to play 10 rounds. Well, this will be one of those downs. So we'll be down to nine after this. Uh, Dublin Ranch is a par 63 course. So this is a Robert Trent Jones Jr. course, it has 11 par threes, five solid par fours, as it says, two demanding par fives, and skilled club selection is critical, with most play players hitting every club in their bag during the round. I felt like I hit every hybrid and wood in my bag during the round. Well, at least I have a chance for par on this opening par four. But we were a little short. Um, it was soggy. The greens were slow. After playing a couple of the courses we played, uh, that was a big struggle. We're on the second one. Play to the right side of the green on this downhill par three. Ball hits to the right and will tend to kick left. Hidden bunker behind the green. Uh-oh, birdie putt. Let's go. Get in there. All right, number three, par three, avoid the left side of the green on this difficult par three. This long, narrow green requires an accurate shot. We are hitting five wood. It was completely still. It was kind of beautiful out there. Nice shot. We got a chance at birdie. Come on. Oh, I rattled that one. I didn't get it to the green. Number four plays with a prevailing wind. Large two-tiered green. Take one more club to reach the top tier. Well, it was at the front and there was no wind. But I left myself a tricky one. Again, I hammered that, didn't get to the hole. <laughs> par five, play the tee shot towards the directional pole on this long par five, play to the left side of the fairway on, an, on the approach shot. Awkward ball above the feet right here. Not great, but there's lots more worse golf to come on this hole. Yeah, it rolled, rolled down the, great, the, the hill from there. Best shot of the day. If you want to keep it out of the wind. Oh. Yeah, I had oh. nothing going on right here. Strategic placement of the camera. There we go. So on this round, I did, uh, this is the first time I've recorded in C-Log. I'm actually using my uh, R5 to record, and this was um, Canon C-Log. It kind of records in this flat color, and um, then you can color grade. So this is my first attempt at color grading a flat image. So let me know how you think it looks. Uh, missed the next shot with the camera. So this was for par. Oh wow, I misread that. Not wonderful, not wonderful. So uh, play one less club on this scenic downhill par three. Hidden bunkers await behind the green. So not looking at the, the bunkers right there and landed just to the right of the green. And the pin was up front right, so that wasn't too bad. We're putting from off the green right here. Feel like a, a chip would be worse than the putt right here. 
and we got a little gimme, two gimmies right there for the two of us. I'm playing with Dean again. We've got a little match going on. Uh, this one, uh, play, where was it? Play towards the right side of the green on this part three. And ball my rules to the, shot, the bottom. Well, absolutely hit a stinker of a shot right here, leaving myself a real awkward distance wedge shot, but these are the wedge shots I kind of like. There we go. Oh, that was close. Par four, play to the left of the bunker off the tee for best view of the green. Left of the bunker. Left of the bunker. Fairway bunker, found it. There it is. Oh, no, it wasn't in the bunker. Oh, well. Well, at least it's out. No shot tracer, I should have a roll tracer on that one. Oh, oh dear. Kick left when it landed. Can make a double. Just not on this hole. Well, that was a terrible way to f finish the front. Number 10, play left of the bunk on this uphill par four. Green is narrow and deep. Check pin location and play to the right side of the green to avoid treble left. Dean had just given me a great, great tip on hitting the driver and I just smacked one. So I was pretty happy with that. Ball above the feet, hit a good iron shot right here. Pin was up front. Ball was at the back. Unfortunately. Oh my God. Oh my and again, God. struggling with the, the speed of the greens on this one, leaving myself a testy one for par. Don't be a bitch. Oh my God. Oh my God. And those three putts leave a sour he taste sucks. in the mouth. Little par three is beautiful downhill par three is deep bunker right and out of bounds to the left is very close to the green. Took a penalty right there. We knew where the ball went, but we just couldn't find it. I think it just plugged in um, really, really deep grass. Again, not rolling out. It was a little downhill, but just kind of got stuck. Hey, I got one to the hole. Number 12 plays downhill downwind. Lay up short the fairway bunker left. Uh, the green has two tiers. This, this hole also had a water hazard. It's not a normal water hazard, but for this round, uh, I think they added it because it had been raining. There it is, the water hazard. Struck well. Didn't come back though. Not even this wicked tight lay. Just trying to pick it off there. So Dino on this next shot, he was actually below the green in a bunker. And this came in with that fizzy sound. And just stopped right by the pin. It was an insane shot. So I was putting a little pressure uh, on me on this one. And it rolled out. I don't want to say I put some pressure here, but I got to make this. And he has won so yeah. many holes in a row right now. We're getting close to the end of the match, and I need to Maybe put a little uh, run together. And making this will really help that. I know. I think this is There you go. Little par three. Prevailing wind, watch the deep grass bunker will catch short shots on the right. You know where I went, right? Right in the deep grass bunker. Oh, go on. 
Oh, so close. We made the paw. Patch still alive. There we go, number 14. Toughest of our part threes. Plays into a prevailing wind. Played the tee shot to the right of the bunkers. Was a little bit short. I was pretty happy though where I got to with the shot. Crept on the front of the green, but left myself a, a nasty putt right here. And that broke left, right, left, right, left. It was military hole. And we made a bogey. 15, spacious putt, three plays downhill and downwind. Played to the front of the green to allow roll onto the green. Well, there's two tiers and you may be able to just about see that. And I did not quite carry far enough. Um, I hit the five wood. I probably should have hit three wood to get back there. That was a, a long hole. Again, I'm getting caught out by the speed of the greens. But we've got the chance for par. A chance, but I'm not going to make it. Par four, short par four, requires an accurate tee shot to avoid bunkers and provide the best approach to the green. From the back tees, it is 226 to a small tree on the right. No, I don't. Left ourselves with a wedge in our hands, not too bad. Carried that one a little far. And they just rolled out. For par? Nope. That way, right? <laughs> we just seen a putt before that went the other way, so it must have been on a ridge. And at least we made the bogey. Par three, deceptive par three, plays into the wind and requires proper club selection. Favor the right side of the green to avoid trouble left of the green. The green's kind of up on the top of a hill and everywhere around it is dead. Actually made the green, pretty happy with that. We got a putt for birdie. We both uh, hit the green on this one. And not too bad with the speed right there. Last hole, outstanding finishing hole, split fairway. Play to the right side of the best approach to the green. Beware of the tall rough all the way down the right. Didn't quite make the fairway on the right. I thought I hit a good one and I was, I was so short of it. So ball above the feet, five wood in hand. Actually hit a good shot. Right now I'm on course to break 80. It is a par 63, but I am course to, to break 80. Third shot, blind, up to the green. And that wasn't too bad. Now, the next few shots did not record, unfortunately, the battery in the camera. I have one battery that's having a bit of a fault right now. It looks like it's full. You start recording and all of a sudden it stops. So I did a little graphical representation. I was just short of the bunker. Hit a stinker off to the left. So now I'm in the bunker. Went a little bit long with the uh, recovery from the from there. So I have a putt for bogey. That one raced by and then I went for double and made it. So that left me at a 79. So that's the end of this round. Um, definitely let me know what you think of the color grading on this. It was the first time I have done that. And I will see you for round 42. Cheers.